What about alcohol? Alcohol usage, um, this is the, again, the um, Nun study, and uh, this is a telephone memory test, and your memory test was better if you had one drink a day. So a glass of wine a day, part of your Mediterranean diet, we're going to talk about the Mediterranean diet, um, is probably good for you. Eating polyunsaturated fats um, or versus saturated fats. So saturated fats are things in cheese, meat, uh, and um, butter, cream. You don't want to eat that, you, or you want to eat less of that. You want to eat polyunsaturated fats or monounsaturated fats. You want to eat olive oil, canola oil. That is what you want to eat. So the better, this shows that eating that is helpful. <coughs> The same with eating fish is helpful. And then curry. Those of you who are fans of curcumin, uh, that is also helpful. In, and uh, it turns out that they, they, they have isolated a molecule from curcumin that is helpful, that they're busy studying, that uh, might be helpful. The study they did looking at curry powder showed that it's not absorbed you have to cook the curry in a little oil otherwise it's not absorbed you won't get the benefit so eat your curry cooked in olive oil and here's the actual molecule that they've isolated that is helpful and then uh, antioxidant supplements so things like vitamin C vitamin E and here's a study uh, looking at old can you teach old dogs new tricks. Well, you can. If you give those dogs alpha tocopherol, that's vitamin E, carnitine, alpha lipoic acid, vitamin C, spinach, tomato, grapes, carrots, and citrus, what your mom said you should eat when you were little. And then it showed that that improved the mitochondrial, which are the energy parts of the brain of the dog, and the dog uh, started learning new tricks. And here's the Mediterranean diet. Uh, the Mediterranean diet is um, eating legumes, so a lot of beans and salads and fruits and little cheese and cream and lots of fish and olive oil and lots of nuts. So olive oil and nuts um, is important. Tree nuts. And here it is. You can read it. Uh, they're basically what I've just told you. Sleep apnea. This is a really important thing to ask uh, your spouse. Do I snore? And you might answer, only when you're awake. <laughs> uh, so, people who snore may have sleep apnea and sleep apnea drops the oxygen level and it shrinks that hippocampus. Here's, and if you treat it, if you treat sleep apnea, that hippocampus gets bigger. So it's really an important cause, treatable cause of memory. So look out for snoring. And um, this is the... Um, People with high blood glucose have um, cognitive impairment. So diabetes is, uh, this is even people who are not diabetic. And uh, people also um, who are anemic uh, are at risk uh, of uh, cognitive decline. And uh, people who don't have good oral hygiene. So more attention to flossing. <laughs> is probably a good idea, as well as brushing your teeth well. Uh, you get cognitive decline. Uh, so dental disease is associated with uh, atherosclerosis, impaired um, arterial endothelial function, and inflammation. So here's my recommendations. This is what I recommend for you. Treat cardiovascular risk factors. Keep your mind active. 
exercise, B complex, vitamin C, <coughs> vitamin E in food. I don't recommend it as a supplement. Eat fish, use curry, cook it. Antioxidants, Mediterranean diet, quality sleep, increase socialization. So attend all the lectures that they put on for you. <laughs> um, control your blood glucose, treat anemia, vitamin D if deficient, and dental hygiene. So those are lifestyle things. No cost, no risks. Maybe because there are no risks, you're not prepared to take them. <laughs> and it's too cheap. All right, here's a medit. So does that work? And here's the first study proving that a Mediterranean diet improves cognition. So it's a prospective, uh, unblind, uh, it's, it's a randomized prospective study showing that it does work. This is level one evidence that a Mediterranean diet is helpful. And this is um, the finger study. They intervened with exercise, cognitive training, and treating vascular risk factors. And the findings showed a randomized trial suggested that multi-domain intervention could improve or maintain cognitive function in at-risk elderly people with, from the general population. He has another randomized prospective study showing what I've just recommended is actually helpful. So exercise, cardiovascular risk factors, and Mediterranean diet. So that's evidence that, uh, of something you can do right now. No risks. And then the MIND diet um, is uh, uh, using the blood pressure diet plus the Mediterranean diet. They call that the MIND diet. And they thought that was even better than the Mediterranean diet by itself. And this is the data from that MIND score uh, when people were um, global cognitive decline. Those who, had the, who complied with the blood pressure diet, which is eating a lot of vegetables, and the Mediterranean diet did the best in cognitive decline. <coughs> 